Hello, future Todd. <laughs> so the first stop is Boat Hinge, two hours and 20 minutes away. Columbia, Missouri, here we come. Are we almost there? Yes. Kind of a cool bonus surprise. We're driving down the road and Nathan's like, wait, that's the biggest tree in Missouri. And I was like, wait, what? And I said, is there a plaque or something? He goes, nah, it's just kind of people stopping. But then there was a plaque. It's over 400 years old. Way to go. Yeah. Yay, Katie Trail. All right, we made it to Boat Hinge. We did. Let's go see what it's all about. For a town? Because I've never noticed the boat. Are they new? Um, no, they've been here for a while. I wonder if I just I'm riding and I like the fins on this one. Trails aren't very manicured. So based on my limited research of the KD 225, I think the finish line will be right here. Which I think is a nice setup for the big part of it. So. so we'll run out and then run to the finish. Like I just finished 225 miles. And then I'll have to check to see what shows are going to be here when I finish because it's going to be great to just come see a show. Dr. Anderson is thinking those roots are what cause these rocks to fall. Slowly, slowly prying them apart. Boom. We spent the night at my mother-in-law's house in Newtown, which was delightful. And then had a quick breakfast at Picasso's Coffee this morning. Yeah. Very enjoyable. Both of these things. Just a block off Frontier Park down by the river. Illinois is. No, it's kind of Alright, so Wildcat Hollow Loop, 3.3 miles, 213 feet of elevation. Get to know this 3.3 mile trail near Mason, Illinois, and it's beautiful to visit anytime. Dogs are welcome, but must be on a leash. And mushroom hunting only after 1 p.m. Which, once again, crap. <laughs> no mushrooms today. How muddy does it get? It's starting to come in my shoes. Alright. These things are everywhere. Yeah. Look at that one. That's a big hole. Yeah. It's kind of turned out to be a bust. I don't think we're afraid of mud, but I didn't bring very many pairs of shoes and we still have three hours of driving to do. So I don't want to get too caked up before we get there. It wasn't like we needed this run. We were exploring. And we still got to do that part. Yeah. Got to drive some fun roads. Yeah. I think 
the rock part must be buried underground, but that giant Excalibur recreation is pretty cool. so hard that everybody was turning around looking at us seeing what was going on i think everybody wanted to be there part of it but met with some of my old adventure buddies from uh purdue you guys want to jump or anything and so now we hopefully we didn't eat too big of a breakfast uh gonna go for a little run out at battleground Is it wrong that I first thought that was a brewery? So every ultra starts after the race director shows you the trail map like this, and then they have to push the magical push to start button. Today with the use of a fiber ultra begun. Terry suggested we start up on this side of it because if we'd come up this way to cross the bridge to get to the treed section we ran through, we'd have been disappointed. But now we got the treed section. It smells so good running through these flowers. drove by this truck that uh, has a giant banana in it, so we went back. If you get a big truck, you might be compensating for something. If you get a giant banana in your truck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's compensating because the truck is not as big as he thinks it is. 